Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on what is happening across the North Atlantic. And so in this video, we'll be taking a look at uh, what is happening across the Caribbean. Of course, there was some increased activity across some areas, but in the coming days, we could see development of a possible cyclone in the Atlantic and that is pretty rare for the month of December so we'll be taking a look at all of that and so before I go into details please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update and to share support for the channel you can leave a thumbs up on this video all right and so let's get straight into it and so we're looking back at this satellite imagery and we're seeing where we have some spots of showers and thunderstorms across various areas of the atlantic uh we definitely see some activity out in the central atlantic and uh that is going to be the area uh that we might see some development in as we progress into next week we see some activity along the intertropical convergence zone and also in parts of the western caribbean in the vicinity of belize there is some shower and thunderstorm activity and also in the Bay of Campeche area. So let's take a closer look at the region. We're seeing here that not too much is happening in terms of activity, but we're definitely seeing some clouds making their way through the region coming down from the northeast. And uh, in the vicinity of some areas such as Trinidad and Tobago, there might be some pop-up showers, but nothing too intense as of right now. But heading towards the Western Caribbean here, we are definitely, well, the Central and Western Caribbean, we're seeing that activity taking place across some areas as I said earlier, uh, in the vicinity of Belize and also over in the Bay of Campeche. And so this increased rainfall in Belize can lead to serious problems uh, if there is extent if there is an extensive period of heavy rainfall uh, there can definitely be some isolated flooding across some areas due to all of that consistent heavy rainfall so that is a possibility in the area so if you're in Belize please be aware of that happening do not take any unnecessary risks and just stay safe there and so looking here at this map and the yellows indicate dry air meanwhile we already see those whites and those greens that is uh, areas of uh, moisture that's where we find those shower and the shower and thunderstorm activity and we're seeing here that across most of the Caribbean there is quite a bit of dry air and that is helping to suppress a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity so that is the reason uh, we're not seeing too much happening across the entire Caribbean but again where we're not seeing a lot of that dry air in the vicinity of Belize uh, we're seeing the development of those showers and thunderstorms so dry air really brings stable conditions and so that is not something that showers and thunderstorms thrive in uh, it's more of in instability where we have a lot of moisture present within the area and next we want to look at these maps of the expected rainfall for the next few days and so we're starting out with gfs and so this is between now and monday so this is the total accumulated precipitation that is expected and so we're seeing those greens go into the blues and those purple shades that is increasing rainfall as we head up there we have the key over to the right side of your screen as we uh increase in the shades of those colors that indicates that there is more activity more rainfall activity that is expected and so we see that between now and monday it's really just off the coast of central america portions of the yucatan belize honduras nicaragua costa rica panama also in parts of uh, trinidad and tobago the abc islands those areas are expected to experience some increased rainfall also the northeastern part of jamaica and the northern part of hispaniola so these areas are expected to receive the most rainfall between now and monday so this isn't all expected in just one day but rather between now and then and then similar story for the euro where we're seeing that it is the aforementioned areas that are expected to experience the most rainfall and then going on to the icon similar story yet again and so now let's go ahead and talk about that potential system in the north atlantic as we're going to be progressing into the next couple of days so let's like let's take a look at a few model runs and so we're going to be looking at the gfs and euro and we're of course starting out with the gfs and gfs is expecting that broad low pressure area to develop as we head into early next week we see some intensification so as that pressure drops that is indicating an intensifying system 
And those black lines you're seeing, those are called isobars and they're lines of equal pressure. So uh, we're seeing here that GFS is definitely expecting some development of this. We see a very low pressure around 970 millibars or so at the minimum and uh, that could be the intensity of a hurricane and then eventually the model shows that this system is going to be making its way over into parts of Ireland and the UK and so this is quite interesting. Let's move on and see what the euro is expecting and it is a similar story for euro. So as we progress through the early part of next week, here we have the model showing a gradual intensification of the system and that could be the hurricanes. Also the Azores uh, could feel impacts in terms of those tropical storm or hurricane like conditions there. And so something else that I want to show you guys is what the satellite could potentially look like as we progress into the next several days. So this is the GFS simulated IR map. And so we're seeing here that as we're going to be heading to the midweek, we definitely see where the model is expecting that development. We see a lot of increased shower and thunderstorm activity. We see some uh, cyclogenesis within the area. If you're in any of the regions, you definitely have to keep your eyes out there for the next couple of days as you're going to be progressing into next week. Probably around next weekend will be the time of impacts across these various areas. But we could definitely see some subtropical development across the Atlantic as you're going to be progressing through December. And this isn't something that is very common. It's quite rare, actually. The last named December cyclone was actually Olga back in December of 2007. So this happening uh, this year would be absolutely rare. It is a rare phenomenon and it looks as though that is where things are headed. So again, if you're in parts of Eastern Europe, you want to take a look at what is going to be happening and take the necessary precautions as you progress through next week because this could bring some very serious and very life-threatening conditions to your area. However, uh, as for the National Hurricane Center's outlooks, uh, they've officially ended on the 30th of November when the hurricane season and then that's the official end date and as of right now there are no updates regarding a disturbance out there within the region to watch but that is likely to change as we progress into the next several days as we enter the new week uh if the potential is going to be increasing for us to see development but we definitely have the main models being consistent with that happening so uh, if we have development of a tropical or subtropical cyclone more than likely subtropical cyclone possibly even a hurricane the next name to be used is Owen and so everyone that is really it for this update video so again across uh, the Caribbean we have that shower and thunderstorm activity in the vicinity of portions of Central America mainly Belize and also in parts of the Bay of Campeche extending into Mexico and nothing too major is happening right now across the Caribbean region thanks to all of the dry air abundant across the area but nevertheless some areas such as off the coast of Central America and parts of the Northern Caribbean and South Eastern Caribbean are likely to experience some increased rainfall. And that is really it for right now, guys. So if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be weatherwise.